Hello, this time we are going to create a black hole that distorts space. First create a material and then click it to open the window. Next, set the blend mode to translucent and the shading model to unlit. Next, create a Fresville node. Press S on the keyboard and click to create a parameter node. Set the name and value and connect it to the Fresville node. Next, create a 1 minus node and connect it with the Fresville node so that you can make the edges of the circle black. Next, create a power node and connect it to the 1 minus node. When you power a value, a white circular gradient is created at the center of the material. Create a multiply node and a parameter node. After setting the name and value of it, connect the power node and the parameter node to the multiply node to amplify the gradient color. Now connect the multiply node to the opacity and you will see the black sphere appearing in the center, masking the edges except for the white gradient in the center. Next, we will distort the space of the masked part. Copy the Fresnel nodes as shown in the video and change the name and value of the copied parameter node. Create a power node and a parameter node, and set the name and value of the parameter node. And if you connect the Fresnel node and the parameter node to the power node, except for the center of the circle, the rest of the parts are displayed with white gradation. Next, create a multiply node and a parameter node, and set the name and value of the parameter node. and connect the power node and the parameter node to the multiply node so that you can make the color a little darker. Next, we use the clamp node to constrain the value of the color. Next, we create a time node to add the passage of time to a material such as a panner, cosine, or other time-dependent operation, and create a multiply node and a parameter node. After setting the name and value of the parameter node, connect the time node and the parameter node to the multiply node to control the speed of time. Next, create a time with speed variable node and connect it with the multiply node to create a value of speed over time. Hold down keyboard and click to create an add node. Create a Fresnel node and two parameter nodes. Set the name and value of the parameter nodes and connect the parameter nodes to the Fresnel node. Then connect time nodes and Fresnel nodes to the add node and add them together. Next, create a sign node and connect it to the add node so that ripples appear over time. We then use the multiply node to multiply the sine and clamp nodes together. Finally, if we connect the multiply node to the refraction, we can see that the space is distorted as the black circle ripples around it. Save and return to the content browser. Create a material instance. Next, drag the sphere from the place actor to the level. and set the size of the sphere to about three or so. Now apply a material instance to the sphere. Then click material instance to open the window and adjust the parameters to create the desired black hole.